right, good morning. So what you guys are going to work on today, I mean, hopefully you were able to do this um, in class with us. But if for some reason you missed class or you just got stuck and you need a refresher, you're going to finish up the um, speciation of the hawthorn and apple fly and looking at whether that's happening. We will talk about speciation also in class just a little bit. You do have homework. It's um, the 18.4, the molecular evolution, and that was on Google Classroom actually Thursday night. It's due much by the end of day Monday. Okay. So when you left off with your assignment, you each did your piece of evidence. So some of you looked at alleles, some of you looked at the host fruit preference, and some of you looked at the life cycle and the timing of the apple trees and the hawthorn trees and the fly. So um, in class today, we are looking at um, summarizing that. So each expert group got together, made a copy of this slide, and summarized their own evidence and their own understanding of what they got and put it onto the class slide deck. And what we're looking at really are um, the questions that were at the end of your document in that application. So then um, we will share, uh, what is shared out then off the class slide deck is each set of groups We'll look at um, we'll look at the host fruit preference, and they're going to talk about if there were any barriers and what evidence there was for barriers. Life cycle and timing. We'll talk about if there were barriers and what the evidence was. Alleles. We'll talk about barriers and what evidence there was. And then you, as an individual, you'll make a decision if what you think there. And then we'll share out around um, the habitat, okay, and or the heritable traits. So the genes. Are there different genes in the different groups? Um, and the evidence for that. And then we'll share out around the expert groups, and if there's evidence for that, and then with the alleles. Um, I'm sorry, not the expert groups, but with the um, population making hybrid offspring for reproduction, and then um, if there's alleles that are mixing between the population, and then it, as an individual, you will make a final decision if you think it's speciation or not. And so thinking about what we talked about at the beginning of the um, in the video with this idea of speciation, then you can um, kind of think about if they're, you know, they're the same species somewhere between or the different species. Because we saw in the video how the polar bear and brown bear um, are can mate with each other when they come in close contact for different in, in the habitats that they're in. Um, and they make viable offspring. So, you know, maybe they're somewhere in between, depending on what you decide in here. So you're going to make a decision based on the evidence. And know that not everybody might land at the same place. There's different decisions um, with that with your evidence. So you're going to use the evidence from all three of these sets of data and summarize what you heard from the different groups to support your final decision about whether they are a species or not. So remember that four species, um, often the definition that we use in biology is that they can create offspring together and that the offspring are viable and that they will do it. So just because they can, if they don't, are, you know, do we really want to consider them the same species or not? And so that's where there's that gray area, um, and that's where you can kind of make a judgment call from your point of view with, as, a, as a scientist in this classroom, okay? There's a final video to watch about the unity, unity and diversity of life. I kind of talked about what's happening with the Hawthorne slide, and then um, this slide deck that's here is talking about um, just more about the reproductive barriers. And so we will talk about that a little bit in class. So if you miss class, make sure that you take a look at that and um, take a look and take some notes about why there's so many so much biodiversity in different organisms on um, land. For those that do miss class, I will share the class slide deck for you. You'll have access to it when you click on this. Um, after your class, you'll have access to that class slide deck. Um, anyways, I hope you have a great day and a great weekend, and I will see you on Monday.